Yo, it's Lilo Jones, and you watching Lilo in the Garden. I'm in the garden, chilling in the garden, wilding in the garden. Looking for me, I'm in the garden. I'm in the garden. I'm in the garden. Can't find me in the street, but you might find me in a garden. I'm in the garden, chilling in the garden, wilding in the garden. Looking for me, I'm in the garden. Sweat and get some dirt on your knees In the garden That way you can't find me Getting all this knowledge And it don't cost a thing Yeah man We about got the outdoor fresh farm today About to go ahead and put these borders down And start setting up for the trellis situation You did what I'm saying So we can have us a nice tunnel walkway entrance You did what I mean But look back here in the back Y'all see it the water tank that we put up had too many gallons. It was too heavy and collapsed. Our little pallet situation, but it's all good. We're going to use that water, put that water on a whole another pallet. Then we're just going to set it on center block so it'll be a little bit more sturdier. And then in the meantime, in between time, we will be broad for and putting these plants in the ground so we can let these plants catch up with the other plants that's already been planted. You did what I'm saying? So time to offload get everything up out the truck but let me show you real quick after we put the borders down you did what i'm saying we're gonna put this cardboard down on the ground and then we got these nice tiles you know what i'm saying they they gave them to me and we're gonna use that for our walkway that's gonna help create nice drainage as well as it'll keep things very organized and hold back some weeds and things so we won't have all that grass and stuff growing up through our pathways uh as the months go along so Let's get to it. We're going to get with it and we're going to make it happen. You dig? All right. Well, we out here. I done unloaded the truck. So I'm about to show you what's up. As you can see, these are the tile things. They make the outdoor basketball go, I mean, basketball courts with these. These are what they, they gave me. We're about to make this four by four walkway. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be four feet wide and it's going to run all the way to the back. But this is what we're going to use as the base. First, we're going to build the border. Take them in the ground like this. Put the other one over here. Just like this. Then we're gonna lay the cardboard in there to act as a barrier for the weed. Then we're gonna lay this on top. And then finally we're gonna put the stones and all the pretty aesthetic things that's gonna make it real pretty. But before we do all that, we gotta get the stakes, cut the board, do some measurements and stuff like that. And my cameraman Cujo will come over here and help me because he fired with this whole building thing, you know what I'm saying? He's an artiste out here. You dig? I had to slow down. Life took a couple of turns, but I'm back now. Got burnt in the hustle. Still, I never back down. Had to rebuild it, so I'm a ball till the stars go out. Jumping like a pogo. Uh -huh. Ask them who they favorite former is. They scream Lilo. Shot all net like Kobe from the free throw. It's a must that I let my light shine everywhere that I go. Out the fresh form, I got it jumping like a pogo. Uh -huh. Ask them who they favorite former is. They scream Lilo. Shot all net like Kobe from the free throw. It's a must. Yeah, man, this pathway coming together real nicely and looking really, real, real playerific out here. You dig what I'm saying? As y'all can see, we made the borders, then we put the cardboard down as an eco-friendly barrier for the weed. And then, look, we got that on top of it. You can walk on it just like that, you know what I'm saying? You can do it just like this and it'll be all good. But we're gonna come back and then put some of those river rocks or something like that on there to boost up the aesthetics. And then it's gonna contrast very nicely with the greenery of the plants and the different aromatic colors that nature will provide us when we plant plants all around here and put that trellis up it's gonna do like this and then plants gonna be climbing up oh it's gonna be beautiful you did yeah 
And now up here, what we're gonna do is we're about to make a raised bed with the trellis situation. So y'all see it right there. That's the cow panel fencing. You know what I'm saying? Cutting it out, making it happen with the whoop the whoop 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 whoop. Then over there in the cut, we got those T posts. You know what I'm saying? T posts, we're gonna put those in the ground, then we're gonna make the trellis out of the cow panels because they kind of sturdy and flimsy at the same time. You'll see what I'm talking about when we make it do what it do. So I'm about to put y'all on the sticks real quick so y'all can see how we make it get it done. You dig what I'm saying? About to build the archway, like I said, that little small 20 inches right there, that's gonna be the base. And now we're gonna do the flippity floppity flute and let that archway hang over and we're gonna see how it do what it do because we're gonna make it do what it do Boom! Yeah, the trail is like seven, seven and a half feet tall. As soon as you go here, it's gonna be beautiful plants growing up everywhere. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have all kind of exotic things up in here growing. You know what I'm saying? And we just gonna have a proliferation going crazy. So what we're gonna do next is put us a little raised bed. You know what I'm saying? Just on the outside of this hill right here. So we can put those vine and plants and those plants that like to grow on trellis right here. And they will be busting out the chain in this thing. You did what I said. I love it. Look at this. My little brain movies that came together. Yeah. I just got this good. The one foot board so we can make this uh one foot by 12 foot raised bed. Like I said, we're going to put up some uh, trellising vining plants that will run up this trellis. And therefore, we will have some edible plants that will be hanging from above. And that will be in your face as soon as you walk into the place. You dig know what I'm saying? So, about to go ahead and hit it with that. Bim, bim. You know what I'm saying? Got the nail going. About to have a little fun. You dig? Know? So, make sure you can build the scene from the ground up. Boom. You got to have safety first. Hand placement is key. Make sure you don't have your hands in the way of that nail. Here, because it's coming through there. These are two inches, so you don't want to get that in your hand. You hear me? Ooh, that's gonna look so divine and so pretty. About to put some dirt in that thing after we do the other side. And, ooh, hit it with that bow. Ooh, ooh. That's fire right there. That's fire. Who draw up like this? <laughs> See, look, look, let me show them. See, look at that. See how that nail came out of that sideways? If you would have had your hand right there, whoo, there would have been all caught up in the nail. You don't want that. So, like I said, hand placement is key. You gotta have it too. Uh, get them up out of there. The safety is no accident. Go back to garden in the gathering, regenerate the earth, let it plack again. So Fred L can create the wind and the water can flow clean again. Regenerate the earth, let it plack again from the new way that we start to live. So Fred L can create the wind and the water can flow clean again. Little earthworm, they off in there. That soil is right and it's ready for life. It got life in it. But we want this over there in the raised bed, so let's relocate them real quick. Oh, 
cool with the earthworm. It's cool and make earthworm babies. So we can have more earthworms. They can break down this good nutrition for the plants to send out their fresh food. Yeah. There we go. Okay, let's finish up. Gonna be the start of something very prolific. You know what I'm saying? We ain't worried about if the dirt overflow. It ain't that serious. We just want to build a nice base so these seeds and these plants can go ahead and take root and get up through there. Y'all saw that the dirt is already very, very full of life. So we're just gonna add this topsoil and some humus to it with some little mycelium and stuff or this stuff breaking down. And that's gonna create a nice environment and ecosystem inside the soil for the roots and for all the little critters that live inside of it. Big. I've been working this soil, so I know this soil the truth. See what I'm saying? We done had a lot of good harvestings coming right from this farm right here, straight out the ground. This is the first year I'm implementing the raised bed situation here, so, you know, we know it's gonna do what it do. We ain't worried about that. We just gotta make sure we do what we supposed to do so everything can jump off the way it's supposed to be here. Don't forget and make sure you go follow me, Lilo Jones at Lilo underscore Jones and Outdoor Fresh Farm at Outdoor Fresh Farm. Like, share, and subscribe. You did.